Uh, uh, just hold on. Getting any levels? Yeah, we're pretty good. Oh, great. All right. Before we start, I'd just like to thank you for taking some time to share with us today. Anything I can do to help you find her, I will. Well, hopefully this will give us a little insight into why she left. I know why she left. Well, then maybe why nobody tried to stop her from leaving. Nobody tried. Even her parents didn't look for her. All right, then. Let's begin. You ready? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, okay. Can you please give us your name and spell it? Levi Hurst. L-E-V-I-H-U-R-S-T. And your age and association to Samantha Rose? 20. Close friend and... And? Uh, close friend. That's it. All right. How did you know Samantha? Were you both part of the same social clique at school, or...? <laughs> no, no. Uh, Samantha was really popular. I didn't even show up on the social radar. Do you remember when Samantha left? It was about two years ago, during the summer. Probably... Can, yeah, okay. Can you tell us what happened between you and Samantha starting from about a week before she left? Uh... If you don't mind, I'd actually like to start sooner than that. Telling you what happened a week before it would be pointless. You wouldn't understand. Got a lot of tape. All right. What time are you going to start from then? About six months before. The very beginning. <laughs> trying to say is you try to just calm down enjoy your senior year. I'm enjoying getting good grades. I'm sure you are, but you're missing out on the best part about doing nothing. Which is? Doing nothing. <laughs> I prefer being productive. Yeah, but you don't even take a small break. You don't do anything socially appealing. Greg, everything that's socially appealing involves drinking or taking drugs. So, why? Who's a good boy? You do everything you're told. I'll do everything you tell me to. Guess I'm an exception. Hey, let's get some food. I'm starving. All right. Where? Taco Tuesday over at Rubio's. It's Tuesday? Yep. So, Rubio's? I told Mr. Evans I had great tests for him on Tuesday. I'm sorry. I'll see you later, man. You're too much of a goody goody, Levi. Uh, he's in a teacher meeting. He probably won't be back for at least an hour. Alright, well, thanks anyways. Do you need something? Well, I was just gonna ask him to go over with me, like, what we did in class today. I tried to do it on my own and pretty much failed miserably. I can help you. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I'm totally lost and hopeless. Alright, well I can help with that. Thanks. What was your name again? Uh, it's Levi. 
Well, thank you, Levi. I'm Samantha, by the way. If you can call me Sam. So, uh, did you miss class today? Yeah, I was sick. You're home sick? Yeah. Oh, uh, then I should probably... Yeah, start from the beginning, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, of course, but, uh, that wasn't what I was going to say. What were you going to say? That I should probably sit further away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk! Alright. Stop. So, you characteristics. Yeah, I... Like, all right, all right, here. Freckles? Yeah, 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 freckles. Yeah. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> Looks like you have it down. Thank you so much for helping me, Levi. I'd probably still be on the first problem at home. Don't mention it. Sorry I came in and messed up your schedule. Oh, no, it's okay. Mr. Evans won't care. I come in a great test from every week. Still, I should probably go. If I stay any longer, I'll probably ruin your life, right? No, it's fine. I mean, I enjoy this. It's not often I have this much fun. On Tuesdays. In the afternoons. <laughs> All right, well, I still have to go. I have a curfew during the week that's pretty much ridiculous. A curfew? Thanks, though. Sam. Just like that. It was that easy? I can't believe it was that easy. I'm telling the truth. Well, I know that. I just can't believe it was that easy. I explain it one more time. All right. She stopped and turned around. I said, would you like to hang out again? She said, of course she would. And she even had a few ideas for what we could do. Then she asked for my number, and she left. Wait, so she didn't give you her number, she took yours? Yep. <sighs> Hate to break it to you, man, but I think you just got played. There's no way she's gonna call you. <laughs> all right, we'll see. No, just, just see you as a good thing, all right? Samantha Rose, she isn't your type of girl. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How do you know? I have a class with her. She's She's not your type of girl. Your, your kind of girl sits at home on a Saturday night studying calculus, preparing for her next spelling bee. Samantha Rose. Samantha Rose. Samantha Rose doesn't even know your type of girl exists. If it wasn't for yesterday, she probably wouldn't even know you exist. She probably forgot about you already. So you're saying that if she does call me, I should just ignore it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said that. <laughs> Samantha Rose is an 11 out of 10. You don't ignore calls from girls like that. <laughs> you know what? You're right. It would be weird. I mean, I wouldn't even think. This is disgusting. <laughs> but I wouldn't even fit in with a crowd. You wouldn't. It'd still be awesome. Uh, I give it to the end of the week. If she doesn't call you by then, she never will. Alright, we'll see. It was really fun, though. <laughs> I only got like half of Mr. Evans' test graded. You disgust me. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Sam? Okay, so I was thinking, community park, Friday night, 5 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Friday's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, what's with the block number? Okay, well, I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Greg, Greg. You're not gonna believe what just happened. <laughs> 